And the Standard Chartered Bank grew its total sustainable finance assets to 3 billion Kenya shillings, a 13% increase from 2022, while increasing overall sustainable finance revenue by over 1,000% from 129 million Kenya shillings to 1.29 billion Kenya shillings during the period. From an operations perspective, the bank has achieved a 39% reduction in energy use through the installation of solar systems at all branches and offices. It has also reduced the use of paper by 42% and now recycles over 97% of waste generated. On diversity and inclusion, 56% of the executive management team and 53.6% of the staff at the bank are female, as per the sustainability report launched earlier today. Here's more. We are looking at uh, what, what, uh, what inroads have we made in 2023 to reduce our own emission, be it with, power, with energy, be it with water, and also with the recycling of, uh, of, our, of our waste, which we 100% do within the bank, and also driving an agenda for a single plastic uh, free uh, organization for our, our own uh, operations. How do we support our own clients to become more sustainable? What kind of products are we coming up with? How have we used sustainable finance in terms of uh, green boards, impact financing? So it's more of uh, what are the solutions that we are putting on the table that is going to help businesses transition into a more to net zero. So we have a lot of advisory from even more advanced areas like Europe, Middle East, uh, and, uh, and our, within our network. So that advisory has come together. And in this very space, we've held very many uh, conversations, very many uh, meetings with our own clients to open up this space to discover what's happening there, what are the products. We have used a lot of our expertise that comes from our other, other countries to be able to support our market and our African-led markets where this is still an evolving journey. Well, the green or sustainability-linked facilities comprised about 